Hey everybody, it's Ruan here from Tunnel Vision TV and today I'm going to show you guys the basics of one of the coolest plugins for 3ds Max and that is Fume Effects. So first of all, um, I'm in 3ds Max, let's just maximize the viewport there. And what I'm going to show you guys is three different ways that you can use Fume Effects. So the first um, way you can use it is as an object um, to basically select an object and use that as your source. Uh, the second way you can um, use the plugin is to use a um, particle system as your source. And then the third option is to use a normal simple source, which is basically just a point in space. So first of all, I've created a little teapot here um, that we're going to use as our object source. And the second one, we're going to create a particle system. So we're going to go to particle systems and let's just create a simple spray particle system. OK, I'm just going to rotate that around so we can see that the particles are actually going upwards. All right. And the third option um, is basically just a normal simple source. So we're going to go to the helpers tab and we're going to go down to fume effects and then we're going to create a simple source. So just click on simple source and just draw a little simple source there. All right. So what you need to do, you need to create a uh, fume effects source for these two objects because this one's already got a, a source because it's going to use itself. So for the object source, we're going to click on object source and just create a little source for it there and then click on the pick object and select the teapot. Now we're going to do something similar for the particle effect. Um, we're going to click on particle source, draw a little source there, click on the pick object and then select that particle source. Now, as I said before, you don't have to create a source for this one because it's going to use itself as a source. All right. The next step is we need to create the boundaries for the fume effects uh, plugin. So we're going to go to geometry and click down on the drop down, select fume effects and click fume effects. And then what you're going to do is just create a like a box around the area where you want to use this effect like that. OK, the next step is we're going to open the UI. So you click on this little box here, open fume effects UI and it's going to bring up the user interface. And then we have to tell Fume Effects what objects to use um, as sources. So we're going to go to the Object Source tab and click on this Pick Object button. And then we're going to click on the first one, which is the Object Source. Um, to reopen the UI, just click on the box that you created around it. There we go. And we're going to click on Pick Object again and click on the source that you created for the particle system. And lastly, click on this simple source. So basically, we've got all three our sources in here that we're going to use. And if we click on the star default simulation tab, uh, we should actually see if you don't see anything, click on this button here. And that's going to open the preview window. So as you can see, really, really bad looking fire going on here, but at least it is working. So if we render that quickly, it looks something like that. Not very pretty, but you can see this is the object source. This is the particle source and this is the simple source. So for the particle system, you can actually see the particles and the flame. So we want to um, actually hide the particles. We just want to see the flame. So let's just close that down and click on the particle system. And what you can do is just right click on that, go to object properties and then just untick renderable. If we render again, can only see the fire on that one. All right, so let's go back to the UI. And if you go to the first tab, the GEN, you'll see there's a spacing number 2.88. Now, the smaller this number is, the better or the more quality there's going to be in your effect. So let's change this to 0. Point, I think 0.8 for now. Let's just preview that again. And you can see it's taking a little bit uh, longer to render now, but it's looking a lot better. All right, so let's just stop it there and let's do a quick render. Now you can see a lot more detail within the flames and also the smoke. 
not looking great, but um, yeah, this is just a, a quick demonstration. So what we can do is, okay, if you go to the simulation tab, um, you scroll down to the fuel section, you can change the burn rate to something a bit smaller. Let's make that 10. And let's go to the render tab, go down to smoke, and let's change the color. Just click on that and then double click on this little tab here. And let's make that a little bit darker. Let's just switch on the preview again. And then you can actually see the smoke turning a little bit darker. Something like that. All right. And another thing that you can do is go to illumination and then tick uh, multiple scattering. That will basically um, add some more. You can't really see it here, but if we render it, you'll see that the smoke will actually change color. Um, it looks a little bit more realistic, so yeah, switch that on. Let's just simulate that again. Okay, and let's do a quick render of that. And there you can see it's looking quite cool. Okay, so the best thing to do with Fume Effects is to go in and play with all these different kinds of settings. Go through all these tabs, change all these settings around, see what they do, and that's basically the best way to get the best effect or the best flames and the best smoke from this from this effect. Um, I'm not going to go through all the settings. It's a really intense plugin, so just try and play around with the the settings. You can change the um, the color of the fire, obviously the smoke, uh, even the fuel, but that's disabled for now. Uh, so the best way to do is just go through it, play around with the settings, and see um, which settings will give you the best looking flames and smoke. So this is the the basics of uh, fume effects. Um, first of all, obviously you can use an object. To, um, as the fuel or to something to, to actually burn from. Then you can use a particle system, which is quite handy. And lastly, you can do a normal simple source, which is just a point in space that you can use uh, to start your, your smoke or your flame. Um, so that's basically it. Really cool plugin. Go and check it out. I will um, give you a URL or a link in the description of the video that you can go check out the software. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very basic tutorial of Fume Effects. Um, yeah, please subscribe, it means a lot to me, and I will see you guys next time.